So, what am I going to prepare today from Mary Ann's Gilligan's Island cookbook? SOS Sausage and Apples on page 111. So, the first ingredient is a 21 ounce can of pie sliced apples. So I didn't have that, so I ended up uh, peeling and slicing five relatively small apples, some pink, some red, some yellow. All right, so I wanna show you a tip here. See, I put a piece of paper towel under this cutting board, so when I'm cutting up the apples, the cutting board stays in place. You could also use a regular towel. All right, so pie slice basically means like these wedges I did here. So I put them in cold water until I was ready for them. And then the next ingredient is one pound of brown and serve sausage links. So I only did six ounces because I misread and thought it was one package. All right, so back to it. The next thing it says all purpose flour. It doesn't really give you an amount and nutmeg. So I used about a little less than a half a cup of flour and then about a half a teaspoon of nutmeg. So you don't want to use too much nutmeg because too much is icky, but just a little nutmeg really sets the flavor off in a recipe. All right, so I mix those around to cover the apples. All right, so next we're going to melt some butter. In the recipe it says a quarter cup of butter or margarine. And I thought that was excessive, so I used two tablespoons. But actually, later I used an extra tablespoon. Um, because I was thinking this was gonna be like regular fried apples. And when I added the apples, it was actually too much when I added all of them. So I took some of them out, about half of them so that I really could brown each side of the apples. All right, I could have used a larger pan as well. But I didn't and I wanted to keep that flavor of the sausage, so I decided to fry the apples in two steps. So there I am, I removed some. All right, now I'm cooking them up. And this is actually, like I've not had apples prepared this way before. Usually when I do fried apples, um, flour is added, but it's just kind of like, it makes a sauce. All right, and also sugar is added. But this actually puts kind of a crust on the apples. And it gives them, I guess a flavor, not a flavor, but a texture of like potatoes. So really interesting but it was good I actually enjoyed it but it, it definitely a different recipe for me all right so I moved those to the platter and then I'm gonna go ahead and scrape some of the uh, little bits and pieces left behind so that they don't burn get those out of the way and then add extra butter that's my other tablespoon of butter, and then I'll do my second batch. So again, if I had used a larger skillet, I probably could have did one batch instead of the two. All right. So you see how I'm separating the apples so that 
turned so every side of the apple is browned. So there we are. So I liked it and you know I would say I would maybe do this again maybe not so many apples um, and also you know it, it said one pound of brown and serve sausage links. People usually eat maybe three of those for breakfast so I think that was maybe excessive because it says makes four servings. And as you can see here, what I have, the sausage wise, is enough for three to four people. So I think the ratios are off, but sometimes that's what happens when you take a home recipe and you try to convert that into a written recipe. So, but you know, I still like the cookbook and I would highly suggest you try the recipes from here. So with something like this, you would make adjustments. All right. So thank you for stopping by Chef Carter's Cooking Corner. Remember to like, subscribe, share, stick around, and watch more. All right, see you next time.